18 Effective Tips to Lose Belly Fat Backed by science, too much belly fat can increase your risk of certain chronic conditions. Drinking less alcohol, eating more protein, and lifting weights are just a few steps you can take to lose belly fat. But before we start, please help grow the channel with your likes and shares. Also, let me know in a comment what video tip you would be interested in. And remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for being so supportive. Having excess belly fat can negatively affect health and may contribute to several chronic conditions. One specific type of belly fat, visceral fat, is a significant risk factor for type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and other conditions. Many health organizations use body mass index to classify weight and predict the risk of metabolic disease. However, BMI is only calculated using height and weight and doesn't consider body composition or visceral fat. Though losing fat from this area can be difficult, there are several things you can do if you're looking to reduce excess abdominal fat. Here are 18 practical tips to lose belly fat, backed by scientific studies. 1. Eat plenty of soluble fiber. Soluble fiber absorbs water and forms a gel that helps slow down food as it passes through your digestive system. Studies show that soluble fiber may promote weight loss by helping you feel full, so you naturally eat less. It may also help reduce belly fat. An older observational study involving over 1,100 adults found that for every 10 gram increase in soluble fiber intake, belly fat gain decreased by 3.7% over 5 years. Excellent sources of soluble fiber include fruits, vegetables, legumes, oats, barley. Soluble fiber may help you lose weight by increasing fullness and reducing calorie absorption. Try to include plenty of high-fiber foods in your diet. 2. Avoid foods that contain trans fats. Trans fats are created by pumping hydrogen into unsaturated fats, such as soybean oil. Previously, they were found in some margarine and spreads, and also often added to packaged foods, but most food producers have stopped using them. In observational and animal studies, these fats have been linked to inflammation, heart disease, insulin resistance, and abdominal fat gain. A six-year study found that monkeys who ate a high trans-fat diet gained 33% more abdominal fat than those with monounsaturated fat. To help reduce belly fat, read ingredient labels carefully and avoid products containing trans fats. These are often listed as partially hydrogenated fats. Some studies have linked a high trans fat intake to increased belly fat gain. Regardless of whether you're trying to lose weight, limiting your intake of trans fat is a good idea. Some studies have linked a high trans fat intake to increased belly fat gain. Regardless of whether you're trying to lose weight, limiting your intake of trans fat is a good idea. Excess alcohol intake has been associated with increased belly fat. If you're trying to lose weight, consider drinking alcohol in moderation or abstaining completely. 4. Eat a high-protein diet. Protein is an essential nutrient for weight management. High-protein intake increases the release of the fullness hormone peptide YY, which decreases appetite and promotes fullness. Protein also raises your metabolic rate and helps you to retain muscle mass during weight loss. Many observational studies show that people who eat more protein tend to have less abdominal fat than those who eat a lower protein diet. Be sure to include a good protein source at every meal, such as meat, fish, eggs, dairy, whey protein, beans. High protein foods, such as fish, lean meat, and beans, may be beneficial if you're trying to decrease belly fat. 5. Reduce your stress levels Stress can cause belly fat gain by triggering the adrenal glands to produce cortisol, the stress hormone. Research shows that high cortisol levels increase appetite and drive abdominal fat storage. Moreover, women with a large waist tend to produce more cortisol in response to stress. Increased cortisol further increases fat gain around the middle. Engage in activities that relieve stress to help reduce belly fat. Stress may promote fat gain around your waist. Minimizing stress should be one of your priorities if you're trying to lose weight. 6. Don't eat a lot of sugary foods. 
sugar may contain fructose, which is linked to several chronic diseases when consumed in excess. These include heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and fatty liver disease. Observational studies show a relationship between high sugar intake and increased abdominal fat. It's important to realize that more than refined sugar can lead to belly fat gain. Even natural sugars, such as real honey, should be used in moderation. Excess sugar intake is a significant cause of weight gain in many people. Limit your intake of candy and processed foods high in added sugar. 7. Do aerobic exercise and cardio. Aerobic exercise is an effective way to improve your health and burn calories. Studies also show that it can be an effective form of exercise for reducing belly fat. However, results are mixed as to whether moderate or high-intensity exercise is more beneficial. In any case, the frequency and duration of your exercise program can also be fundamental. One study found that postmenopausal women lost more fat from all areas when they did aerobic exercise for 300 minutes per week, compared with those who exercised 150 minutes weekly. However, researchers also noted that changes in visceral belly fat were not significantly different between either group. Aerobic exercise is an effective weight loss method. Studies suggest it's particularly effective at reducing belly fat and overall body fat. 8. Cut back on carbs, significantly refined carbs. Reducing your carb intake can be very beneficial for losing abdominal fat. Low-carb diets may cause belly fat loss in people who are overweight, those at risk for type 2 diabetes, and people with polycystic ovary syndrome. You don't have to follow a strict low-carb diet. Some research suggests that replacing refined carbs with unprocessed starchy carbs may improve metabolic health and reduce belly fat. In the Framingham Heart Study, People who consumed whole grains were 17% less likely to have excess abdominal fat than those who consumed diets high in refined grains. A high intake of refined carbs is associated with excessive belly fat. Consider reducing your carb intake or replacing refined carbs in your diet with healthy carb sources, such as whole grains, legumes, or vegetables. 9. Perform resistance training. Lift weights. Resistance training, also known as weightlifting or strength training, is vital for preserving and gaining muscle mass. Based on studies involving people with prediabetes, type 2 diabetes, and fatty liver disease, resistance training may also be beneficial for belly fat loss. In fact, one study involving teenagers who were overweight showed that a combination of strength training and aerobic exercise led to the most significant decrease in visceral fat. If you decide to start lifting weights, it's a good idea to talk with a doctor first and get advice from a certified personal trainer. Strength training can be an essential weight loss strategy and may help reduce belly fat. Studies suggest it's even more effective in combination with aerobic exercise. 10. Limit sugar-sweetened beverages Sugar-sweetened beverages are high in added sugars like fructose, which can contribute to belly fat. One study of people with type 2 diabetes found that consuming at least one serving of sugar-sweetened beverages per week was associated with increased belly fat compared to consuming less than one serving per week. Additionally, because your brain doesn't process liquid calories like solid ones, you're likely to consume too many calories later on and store them as fat. To lose belly fat, it's best to limit your intake of sugar-sweetened beverages such as soda, punch, sweet tea, Alcohol mixers containing sugar. Limiting liquid forms of sugar, such as sugar-sweetened beverages, is very important if you're trying to lose belly fat. 11. Get plenty of restful sleep. Sleep is important for many aspects of your health, including weight. Studies show that not getting enough sleep may be linked to a higher risk of obesity and increased belly fat for some groups. A 16-year study involving more than 68,000 women found that those who slept fewer than 5 hours per night were significantly more likely to gain weight than those who slept 7 hours or more per night. Sleep apnea, a condition in which breathing stops intermittently during the night, has also been linked to excess visceral fat. In addition to sleeping at least 7 hours per night, ensure you get sufficient quality sleep. If you suspect you have sleep apnea or another sleep disorder, consider speaking to a doctor about treatment options. 
sleep deprivation is linked to an increased risk of weight gain. Getting enough high-quality sleep is essential if you're trying to lose weight. 12. Track your food intake and exercise. Many things can help you lose weight and belly fat, but consuming fewer calories than your body needs for weight maintenance is vital. Keeping a food diary or using an online food tracker or app can help monitor your calorie intake. This strategy is beneficial for weight loss. In addition, food tracking tools help you monitor your intake of protein, carbohydrates, fiber, and micronutrients. Many also allow you to record your exercise and physical activity. 13. Eat fatty fish every week. Fatty fish can be a nutritious addition to a balanced diet. They're rich in high-quality protein and omega-3 fats, which may offer protection against chronic disease. Some evidence suggests that these omega-3 fats may also help reduce visceral fat. Studies in adults and children with fatty liver disease have shown that omega-3 supplements may significantly reduce liver and abdominal fat. Aim to get two, three servings of fatty fish per week. Good choices include salmon, herring, sardines, mackerel, anchovies. For vegans, vegetarians, and those who don't regularly consume fish, plant-based omega-3 supplements derived from sources like algae are also available. Eating fatty fish or taking omega-3 supplements from fish oil or algae may improve overall health. Some evidence also suggests it may reduce belly fat in people with fatty liver disease. 14. Limit consumption of fruit juice. Although fruit juice provides vitamins and minerals, it's often just as high in sugar as soda and other sweetened beverages. For example, an 8-ounce serving of unsweetened apple juice contains 24 g of sugar, over half of which is fructose. Research suggests that consuming large amounts of fruit juice could contribute to weight gain due to the excessive calories it provides rather than the fructose it contains. Still, to help reduce excess belly fat, Moderate your intake and enjoy other beverages with lower sugar content, such as water, unsweetened iced tea, or sparkling water with a wedge of lemon or lime. Fruit juice often contains as much sugar as soda and may contribute to weight gain if consumed in high amounts. It's best to moderate your intake and enjoy other beverages, such as water or unsweetened iced tea. 15. Eat probiotic foods or take a probiotic supplement. Probiotics are bacteria found in some foods and supplements. They may have health benefits, including helping improve gut health and enhancing immune function. Researchers have found that different types of bacteria play a role in weight regulation and that having the right balance can help with weight loss, including belly fat loss. Those shown to reduce belly fat include members of the lactobacillus family, such as lactobacillus fermentum, lactobacillus amylovirus, and lactobacillus gasser. However, while probiotics may benefit weight loss, more research is needed. As the Food and Drug Administration doesn't regulate some probiotics, talking with a doctor before adding probiotics or other supplements to your routine is essential. Probiotic supplements promote a healthy digestive system. Studies also suggest that beneficial gut bacteria may help promote weight loss. 16. Consider intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting has recently become very popular as a weight loss method. It's an eating pattern that cycles between eating and fasting periods. One popular method involves 24-hour fasts once or twice weekly. Another involves fasting every day for 16 hours and eating all your food within hours. One study found that combining intermittent fasting with protein pacing, which involves consuming nutrient-dense meals spaced evenly throughout the day, led to more significant reductions in body weight, total fat, and visceral fat than calorie restriction. Remember that some older evidence suggests intermittent fasting may negatively affect blood sugar control in women but not men. Although specific modified intermittent fasting methods appear to be better options, stop fasting immediately if you experience any adverse effects. Additionally, talk with a doctor before trying intermittent fasting or making other changes to your diet. Intermittent fasting is an eating pattern that alternates between periods of eating and fasting. Studies suggest it may be one of the most effective ways to lose weight and belly fat. 17. Drink green tea. 
Green tea is an exceptionally healthy beverage. It contains caffeine and the antioxidant epigallocatechin gallate, which appear to boost metabolism. EGCG is a catechin, which several studies suggest may help you lose belly fat. The effect may be strengthened when green tea consumption is combined with exercise. Interestingly, one review concluded that green tea could increase weight loss, especially when consumed in doses of less than 500 mg per day for 12 weeks. Another review showed that regular consumption of green tea could be beneficial for reducing body weight and waist circumference. However, more high-quality research is needed. Though more research is needed, regularly drinking green tea has been linked to weight loss. However, it could probably be more effective and best combined with exercise. 18. Change your lifestyle and combine different methods. Doing one of the items on this list may have a negligible effect. For best results, combining different methods may be more effective. These methods are generally associated with balanced eating and a healthy lifestyle. Therefore, changing your lifestyle for the long term is the key to losing your belly fat and keeping it off. When you have healthy habits, stay active, and reduce your intake of ultra-processed foods, fat loss tends to follow as a natural side effect. Maintaining consistent dietary habits and lifestyle measures may make losing and keeping weight easier. Studies suggest intermittent fasting may be one of the most effective ways to lose weight and belly fat. It's not realistic or healthy to lose weight in your tummy in 7 days. While there are healthy ways to lose weight, it will likely take longer than 7 days. 5 foods that may help burn belly fat include, foods with soluble fiber like fruits, vegetables, and legumes foods with protein like meat, fish, eggs, and dairy fatty fish like tuna and salmon foods with probiotics like yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, and kimchi green tea. The bottom line is there are no magic solutions to losing belly fat. Weight loss always requires some effort, commitment, and perseverance. Adopting some or all of the strategies and lifestyle goals may help you lose belly fat and improve overall health. I hope this information will help you reach your goals. Stay tuned. I'll be coming shortly with more tips and quick healthy food ideas for kids and adults.